Industrialization or industrialization is the period of social and economic change that transforms a human group from an agrarian society into an industrial society, involving the extensive reorganization of an economy for the purpose of manufacturing. As industrial workers' incomes rise, markets for consumer goods and services of all kinds tend to expand and provide a further stimulus to industrial investment and economic growth. Topic Background The first transformation to an industrial economy from an agricultural one, known as the Industrial Revolution, took place from the mid-18th to early 19th century in certain areas in Europe and North America, starting in Great Britain, followed by Belgium, Germany, and France. Characteristics of this early industrialization were technological progress, a shift from rural work to industrial labor, financial investments in new industrial structure, and early developments in class consciousness and theories related to this. Later commentators have called this the first industrial revolution, the second industrial revolution. Labels the later changes that came about in the mid-19th century after the refinement of the steam engine, the invention of the internal combustion engine, the harnessing of electricity and the construction of canals, railways and electric power lines. The invention of the assembly line gave this phase a boost. Coal mines, steelworks, and textile factories replaced homes as the place of work. By the end of the 20th century, East Asia had become one of the most recently industrialized regions of the world. The BRICS states Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa are undergoing the process of industrialization. There is considerable literature on the factors facilitating industrial modernization and enterprise development. Topic Social consequences Urbanization As the Industrial Revolution was a shift from the agrarian society, hence people migrated from villages in search of jobs to places where factories were set up. This shifting of rural people led to urbanization and rise in the population of the towns. The concentration of labor into factories has increased urbanization and the size of settlements, to serve and house the factory workers. <laughs> <laughs> Exploitation Workers have to either leave their families or bring them along in order to work in the towns and cities where these industries are found. <laughs> Changes in family structure The family structure changes with industrialization. The sociologist Talcott Parsons noted that in pre-industrial societies there is an extended family structure spanning many generations who probably remained in the same location for generations. In industrialized societies the nuclear family, consisting of only parents and their growing children, predominates. Families and children reaching adulthood are more mobile and tend to relocate to where jobs exist. Extended family bonds become more tenuous. <inaudible> Current situation As of 2018 the "...International Development Community World Bank, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, many United Nations departments, and some other organizations endorses development policies like water purification or primary education and cooperation amongst third world communities. 
Some members of the economic communities do not consider contemporary industrialization policies as being adequate to the global South third world countries or beneficial in the longer term, with the perception that they may only create inefficient local industries unable to compete in the free trade-dominated political order which industrialization has fostered. Environmentalism and green politics may represent more visceral reactions to industrial growth. Nevertheless, repeated examples in history of apparently successful industrialization Britain, Soviet Union, South Korea, China, etc. may make conventional industrialization seem like an attractive or even natural path forward, especially as populations grow, consumerist expectations rise and agricultural opportunities diminish. The relationships among economic growth, employment, and poverty reduction are complex. Higher productivity, it is argued, may lead to lower employment see jobless recovery. There are differences across sectors, whereby manufacturing is less able than the tertiary sector to accommodate both increased productivity and employment opportunities. More than 40% of the world's employees are working poor, whose incomes fail to keep themselves and their families above the $2 a day poverty line. There is also a phenomenon of deindustrialization, as in the former USSR countries' transition to market economies, and the agriculture sector is often the key sector in absorbing the resultant unemployment. See also <laughs> <laughs>